Everybody seems to be concerned about the environment these days and keeping as much waste out of landfills as possible. Next on the local show, what happens when someone tears down a house to make way for a new one? As part of our ongoing reporting project with broadcast students at Johnson County Community College, we take a closer look at how a nonprofit group called Habitat Restore is finding new ways to recycle old housing materials that would have been destined for the landfill. Deconstruction is the breakdown of a home in the opposite direction of construction. We take everything out piece by piece and we recycle it so that we stay out of the landfill so that other people can be able to use it in the future. The reason for deconstruction is to save as much as material as possible. You don't want to put all the metal and the unnecessary wood into um, the landfill. We get to reuse the two by fours, reuse any kind of material that somebody would want to build a new house on. It's like remodeling a house, but you're rebuilding a house with the same materials. You know, if you got a um, 15 man crew, it'd be a lot faster. You know, if you got a four man crew, it'd be a lot slower. You got somebody always de you got somebody over here on the windows, you got somebody on the roof, you got somebody knocking down a, uh, uh, the drywall, you got somebody pulling down, you always got somebody doing something. The hardest part about deconstruction is um, probably getting people uh, trained, the, get the guys in the field that actually take the house apart. Uh, there is an art to that, you can't just start going at it with sledgehammers and ripping things apart in any, any sequence, any fashion. If you do that, you just have a mess on your hands. So th there is a sequence and an art to taking things apart. As you can see back here, we're gonna save the whole frame. Also, we saved all the windows, we saved all the doors. These guys, they're dedicated, they're devoted to what they're doing and, and they're really hard working at what they're doing. And I hope that in the future that they'll be able to train others and we can continue the training of deconstruction. <laughs> it's, it's, it's nothing but teamwork. We're a team. That's a crew. I might need somebody to hand me some tools or something. You know, I might need some help pushing out this window. You know, I might need some, uh, uh, somebody to help me on this roof. You know, we tried to take great care in removing these items and getting them back to our store. And here at Habitat Restore, where these items are offered to the general public at a very reduced price, and a lot of people uh, have their own home projects that they do with these items we brought back. One of the best things is that we're a not-for-profit organization, so we can also offer the homeowners a tax credit for their donation. Getting the public's mind around the fact that instead of flattening their house or whatever it is, kitchen, whatever it is, and throwing it away, uh, that the items that they have that are used are, still have value. I like to think of it like uh, automobiles, for instance. Everybody knows that a used car still has value. We, we place a lot of value on a used automobile. If we drive a car for a few years, we don't just think, oh well, throw it away. You know, there's a market for used automobiles. I think it's the same, it needs to be the same thing with used building materials. There's a big demand in, uh, in the residential sector. Uh, there's always someone wanting to redo a bathroom, uh, wanting to redo a kitchen, maybe a uh, remove an old deck to replace a new deck, and uh, yes, they keep us pretty busy. The reason for deconstruction is you save the energy, you know, it's green, and um, you save saving people a lot of money. 